Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of Object Oriented Programming. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about event classes. The classes in Java that represents events are known as event classes. So for handling events in Java, we need to know some of the event classes. Without event classes, we won't be able to handle the events. And the main class, or we can say, the root of all event classes in Java is the event object class. It is the parent class of all, of all events in Java. Even if the event is created by the programmer or even if it is a built-in event, all the events belongs to or all the events are child of this event object. So event object is a super class of all events. And in this class, there are two methods. They are get source and to string method. Get source method is used to get the source which generated the event. We want to know if you want to know the source which generated the event, then we can make use of the method get source. And if you want to get the string representation of the event object, that is, if you want to get the details of the source that generated the event. In the, in the form of a string then we can make use of the method to string method next class is the java awt event class awt stands for abstract window toolkit abstract window toolkit is actually a collection of some components from which we can create a form or graphical user interfaces it includes frames button text field etc so AWT event class is the root event class for all AWT events. AWT events means events related to buttons, text field, etc. And this AWT event class is defined inside java.awt package. Next class is the action event class. As mentioned here, Action event is generated whenever a button is clicked or an item from a list is double clicked. So if we have a button in our graphical user interface or if we have an item list from which one item is clicked or selected or when a button is pressed, it is the object of this class that is getting generated or that is getting created. And in this class we have some constant variables. They are all to mask control mask, meta mask and shift mask. All these variables are used to identify whether the alt key on the keyboard is pressed or control key on the keyboard is pressed or the meta mask key is pressed on the keyboard or when the shift key on the keyboard is pressed. So depending upon which key is pressed the corresponding integer variable will be having the corresponding value. And some of the methods inside the class action event are get action command, get modifiers, and get when. Get action command method returns a string that is associated with the current action that is that took place. Get modifiers means which all buttons were pressed when a particular event was occurred. And get when means we if we want to know the time at which a particular event occurred. We can use the method get when. Next class is the key event class. As name indicates, key event is generated whenever we press a key on the keyboard. There are three types of key events when a key is pressed, key is released and key is typed. So all those three events are indicated by means of these three constants. Key typed means suppose when we press the key and if that pressing re, uh, resulted in generating a character. For example, if you are pressing the key shift, it is not generating any character. At the same time, if you are pressing any other letter, say A, if you are pressing it, the character A will be generated. So that is the difference between key typed and key pressed and key, key released and two of the methods that are available inside key event class are get key care and get key text here get key care method is used for getting the character of the key that is pressed and get key text 
that method returns a string of the key that is pressed. For example, if you are pressing the key home on the keyboard, this method will return home as the result. If you want to handle events related to mouse, then we have, we have to use mouse event class. Mouse event class or mouse event objects are created whenever a mouse button is pressed, whenever a mouse button is released, or it is clicked, that is pressed and released, whenever it is dragged, etc. So when all those events occurs, it is the object of this class that is getting generated or that is getting created. Some of the methods inside mouse event class are get button, get click count, get x and get y. All these methods returns an integer. Get button returns the number of the button that is pressed, whether it is button 1 or button 2 or button 3. And get click count, as the name indicates, it returns the number of clicks that occurred. Get x means on the frame on the screen at which location the mouse click occurred that x ordinate will be uh, will be returned by the indicate x method similarly get y is used for getting the vertical y position of the event occurred that is if you are pressing a key mouse button on the frame there will be an x y coordinate for that point at which the mouse click occurred if you want to get the x coordinate, you have to use get x method. If you want to get the y coordinate, you have to use the get y method. We have mouse motion event class. This class is also used for indicating a mouse action. And the two methods that are available inside this class are mouse dragged and mouse moved. As you, as you can see, the parameter of these two methods are objects of mouse event class. And I hope you know the difference between mouse dragged and mouse moved. Mouse dragged means we are moving the mouse cursor by pressing a mouse button. Mouse moved means we are just moving the cursor above uh, some component or not. We shall conclude now. In this video lecture we came across some of the event classes in Java. We got a general idea about the event classes. That is all in this video lecture. Thank you so much.